Hello everyone. My name is Masataka Izuri. Here I am sincerely apologies on not able to be in person due to the critical COVID situation and tight schedule. Today I will be presenting about film form formation on magnesium alloy surface by multifunction cavitation using phosphorus phosphoric acid. First, I'd like to introduce capitation. Everyone, have you ever experimented a liquid contained bubbles that popped out when you shake the container of a carbonated drink and remove the stopper? As a mechanism for generating bubbles, carbon dioxide gas is released, so bubbles are generated. Regarding the bubbles generated when boiling and the bubbles generated after opening carbonated drinking water, the phenomenon of these two bubbles occurs by the same mechanism. The figure on the left shows the relationship between water temperature and saturated bubble pressure. This solid line is a line quoted from the this standard and bubbles will be generated from water when crossing this line. Generally, when the temperature of water is increased to 100 degrees Celsius under atmospheric pressure, it's called boiling and bubbles are generated. On the other hand, when Heating when the saturated bubble pressure becomes low. Boiling occurs even when the temperature is low compared to atmospheric pressure. The bubbles generated by this boiling phenomenon are called capitation. This is the figure created from the paper. The specimen surface is preceded by cavitation generated at each water temperature. And the amount of surface scarred is shown. When cavitation is generated when the water temperature is between 35 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius. The surface is easily scarred and the energy in the bubbles is the highest is reported in this graph. This slide shows the technique of creating cavitation in order to generate cavitation. There are cavitation due to thermal electron chemical action that occurs due to vibration and noise, and cavitation due to mechanical action that occurs when the pressure in the Liquid degrees. The bubbles generated by the action on the left form bubbles of several micron size with a high temperature local field. And the number of bubbles research several thousand Kelvin as the bubbles repeatability. Vibrate. The bubbles generated by the action on the right form bubbles of 100 
micron or more. And the bubble, bubble collapse pressure discharges a maximum of 1000 MPa. Therefore, we consider a method of generating high temperature and high pressure cavitation by combining the two effects. Next, we will introduce water jet pinning technology. This is a technique to generate cavitation by mechanical action. This technology can generate cavitation by injecting high pressure water into the water to lower the pressure in the water. This cavitation plastically deforms when it collides with the specimen surface and when the bubbles collapse a force the push back from the specimen is generated and a compressive residual stress is applied to the surface. The bubbles formed in WJP tend to collapse after expansion due to rapid contraction. Also, there are few opportunities for bubble shrinkage and high temperature fields cannot be expected. Expect. We irradiate the bubbles generated by the technology with ultrasonic waves to change the sound pressure. And the bubbles repeatedly undergo isothermal expansion or adiabatic contraction to change into cavitation with hot spots. We call this technology multifunction cavitation. In this study, phosphoric acid was added to WJP and MFC, and cavitation was generated with a liquid mixture of water and phosphoric acid to process the magnesium surface. The left side shows MFC technology and the right side shows WJP technology. In this presentation, we will introduce to the technology of adding chemical properties to MFC and WJP to impact collision resistance to the magnesium alloy surface. Next is the experimental method. The magnesium specimen is AZ31. Here, the processing condition and evolution method. This is the each processed specimen surface, in addition to MFC and WJP. The analysis specimen surface is also shown. The surface turned golden after various treatments with phosphoric acid. This result of SEM observation of each treated surface are shown. Cracks exist on the surface treated with MFC or WJP and a film is formed. However, in AO, there are areas where the film has been peeled off 
in addition to surface cracks. It's confirmed that LFC and WJP are superior to conventional methods in film formation. Next in the previous processing technology, because the cavitation formation rate differs between WJP and MFC. The op optimus condition were investigated from the specimen surface towards the deepest direction. The upper figure on the right, right shows the relationship between the distance between nozzle and the hardness and the lower figure shows the value of the thickness of the film method by observing the cross section with an SEM. It was found that the film thickness was thick at 50, 45 mm for WJP and 65 mm for MFC. The same thing can be said from the hardness. On this slide, the results of cross section observation with SEM EDS are shown. In MFC, a film is formed up to 65 mm, but it's difficult to form a film from 75 mm. In WJP, a film is formed up to 55 mm, but it's difficult to form a film from 65 mm. Next, uh, combinate psych test was conducted. This test is a method to artificially generate rush due to sword damage and to examine to the degree of corrosion on the each treated magnesium alloy surface. Here are the details of this test. In UP and AO, salt adhered to the surface, and in MFC and WJP, a gold color was still observed. This shows the results of cross section observation of the previous material. No collision cracking was observed in MFC or WJP. From these results, it became clear that the film of each process specimen had an effect on the collision resistance. Finally, conclusion. Thank you for attention.